All right, so we've done a couple like stream setup overkill videos before comparing different things at different price points. Also, let me know how the audio sounds. We're using a bit of a different setup on this one. But when you buy a fancy mirrorless camera here, look at the second camera. But uh, once you buy a fancy mirrorless camera, there's really not much where else you can go in terms of getting a camera for your streaming setup. If you're just like kind of like a just chatting or, you know, game streamer, like you're streaming in one place. Um, honestly, the only improvements you can make that are tangible, I mean, of course you can get like a red camera or something like that if you really want uh, to go with different crazy color science. But the, the last major investment is gonna be, you know, the uh, lenses that you're using. We had the opportunity to test out some cinema glass and I thought it'd be fun to compare cinema lenses compared to the traditional stills lenses that people use for streaming setups. Now, I think if you're doing a streaming setup, uh, functionality wise, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of YouTube content creation, zoom lenses are gonna be, um, you know, a lot more flexible and that's where you should probably dump your money in. But if you want like the sharpest image quality and you need something that goes super low light, then, you know, get prime lenses. So in this video, we're gonna compare yeah, three different prime lenses at three different price points. And they're all around the same focal length. So about a 35 millimeter focal length. Um, we're gonna test it all on full frame. So no crop factor or anything like that. One is gonna be a 28 at F2, then the G Master at 1.4 and the Tokina Cinevis Prime, which is a T 1.5. How are we gonna test these vastly different lenses? Well, the way we're gonna do it is um, we're gonna put them all at the same f-stop. So for most glass, like I know most people are gonna buy a 1.4 and they're like, all right, I need all that depth of field. When in reality, the lenses tend to best perform around 2.8. So we're gonna leave it at 2.8, plus we only have an f2, so we can't go as low as the other ones. So we're gonna leave it at a f2.8. Um, we're gonna use it all in the same camera. So since we're in the spirit of overkill, we're actually gonna use the uh, FX6 as our stream camera. Um, it's all gonna be captured by the same capture card, the Magewell. And we're gonna work with a similar workflow that we've always done, um, or I've always done when I'm streaming, which is, you know, we're gonna do S-Log out of the camera into the capture card, then apply it LUT. Um, that way we get, you know, the full dynamic range, even though it doesn't matter because we're in a very fixed lighting setup and, my streaming setup doesn't have anything crazy going on, uh, but we're gonna put the LUT in, um, in the streaming software. Um, now I know the FX6 you can actually output with the LUT, but most people don't have this functionality on their camera. So we're gonna try and keep it apples to apples here. Uh, each camera is gonna be independently white balanced because for the stills lenses, there won't be much of a difference, but for the cine lens, they tend to have their own kind of character. So we're gonna do that. Um, the LUT we're gonna use, nothing special, just the stock technical LUT that Sony gives, the S709 LUT. So no changes there, no color grading, cause I don't wanna really shift people's perception of what it is. So let's get these setups going. Also, um, all these recordings are gonna be reminiscent of a stream recording. So that's why this video is actually only in 1080 rather than the usual 4K videos that I put up because we're gonna record it at what's reflective of stream quality. So, you know, 6,000 bit rate, um, we're gonna use NVENC encoding so so that it's fair, you know, because you do get that, you know, video quality, uh, you know, degrade. And then when it's on YouTube, you know, even more processing. But I'll put links to the raw original files in the description so you can like check them out more closely. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's uh, check out the footage.
All right, so as you could see, I didn't really label the lenses. I wanted to save it to this point because I thought like, okay, well, if you know which lens is which, then you're gonna kind of, you know, have a bias towards what is probably the most expensive lens. But anyway, uh, what did you think? Like, could you tell them apart? Did they look any different? I gotta be honest, like I had to put them side by side together and look really closely on my monitor to tell the difference between the two. But if you need to know, then lens number one was the Sony F2 28 millimeter. Lens number two was the Tokina Cinevista Prime. And lens number three was the Sony G Master 35 millimeter 1.4. Did you get it right? Did you notice a difference? Again, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Give a like if this video was helpful and share it as well. And be sure to subscribe for more content and comparisons and stuff like this. And uh, thanks again for all of you that have stuck around and hung out. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded my last video. It might be another couple of weeks before the next one comes because there's a super busy period. And I actually am hoping to share some of that that I'm working on. Hopefully it's not too secretive. But again, thanks you all for sticking around. Catch you on the next one.